the title's not clickbait. I was robbed. And I don't mean it in a metaphorical sense. I don't mean like moist moguls were robbed of a win or my fashion sense has been robbed since the moment I started recording this video. I was literally stolen from, thieved, larcenied in the middle of the night. And what was stolen from me? My prized possession. My 1997 imported from Japan Subaru Sambar. If you don't know, this is my dream car. It's a mini truck, a K truck, usually used for businessmen in Japan in the 80s and 90s. Kind of fell out of fashion, and I brought one over. It's beautiful. Drives on the other side uh, with the steering wheel, and honestly, I just think it looks super cute. But somebody stole it from me. How? Well, I'll give you a little bit of context. When I got the car, one of the first things that happened is that the tire popped. Just coincidentally, it's a 25-year-old car. The tire didn't hold up. So I changed it for the spare tire, but that's also a 25-year-old tire. All the tires kind of needed to be changed out. But it's a little bit harder to find somebody in LA in 2022 or 2023 to fix tires for a 25-year-old imported car. So it took a little bit. I kind of parked it at our warehouse, just waiting to find somebody with no real urgency because I still have my Vespa and I still have my purple Volkswagen that you might have seen in the video when I switched to YouTube. But... There was a problem with the warehouse. Now, little context, if you don't know, the yard used to be shot in my attic. This is literally my attic. But we moved it, because the set was a little bit small, to a studio space. And this is it right here. If you haven't checked the yard out in a while, the set's cool. And honestly, the recent episodes have been really funny. So go watch the yard. But because of that, I parked the car at the warehouse, which is just in L.A. And the warehouse kind of came into some troubles lately. If you're not in L.A., you haven't heard the devastating storms that have taken over. And by that, I mean it's been raining a lot in the past week. But for people in Los Angeles, that's like, you know, level five category issues, torrential downpours. It halts everything. There's a bunch more traffic. Lights go out. Power goes out. There's car crashes. We don't handle the rain well in L.A. And so when the rain happened, the power went out. And I know this because Aiden, who was at the warehouse, was locked there because we have a gate like you normally do to protect the vehicles inside uh, in, in the building itself. Uh, and he couldn't leave because the power was off. So the gate wouldn't open. Storm made the power go out. I'm locked inside our warehouse. I'm wandering around a dark, empty building looking for flashlights and testing gates. This is insane. And this is Aiden all alone with an astrolite, I think that's what it's called, a sterilite, something like that. Either way, he was stuck and lost. Eventually, because the breaker didn't work, Zipper, the guy who produces our podcast, saved Aiden, got, uh, saved Aiden, got him out of there, uh, Private Ryan style, uh, and and we were, we were all good. We were all hunky-dory. The only issue is that because they helped Aiden open the gate, the gate stayed open. And through this rainstorm, a thief in the night came to our warehouse Went into my car, somehow jacked it. I don't know how. I don't think there's a spare key that was left in there. Maybe it was. And disappeared from the crime scene. I don't know if they towed it. I don't know if they hotwired it. Is that a real thing? I see it in movies, but I don't know. Can you, can you do that? And get, I don't know. And, and they took my car. They took my car away from me, my baby. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, why don't we just get a new one? You know, The car isn't that expensive. I mean, in terms of like regular car prices, it costs 5,000 bucks and then like another 2,000 to import. It's like $7,000 all in. But I liked that car. That was my car. That was my 1997 Subaru Sandbar. They don't grow 1997 Subaru Sandbars on trees. I'll have you know, all right? I can get another mini truck, but it won't be the exact same. This one had great mileage on it too. It only had like 60,000 kilometers. That's like 40,000 miles or so. So anyway, here's, here's, my, here's my cry for help. If you happen to be in LA and you see this 1997 Subaru Sandbar, you let me know. We've contacted the authorities, but it's the LAPD, dude. What do you expect? <laughs> Come on, they got to they gotta be, beat somebody up, right? They got to they gotta be overly aggressive. They, they're not caring about my car, my vehicle. So anyway, that's where we're at. I was robbed. I figured I'd tell you guys a story about it. Maybe with our powers in our multiple eyes, we can find it. Or maybe I can just make enough money off this YouTube video that I can buy another one. That's pretty much where my thought process is at. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's it. Just a quick little update. Uh, back to more normal uh, drama, e-girl, uh, and Twitch news in the future. Subscribe while you're here. All right, see you later. Goodbye. Just a quick one. Why'd they take it, bro? Why'd they? It's such a cute car. It drives on the wrong side. You probably don't even know how to drive it like I do. I, I drive it so well.